snuggled in the Avondale neighborhood stands Tribeca Sandwich Shop. There you'll find Midwest-inspired sandwiches and whimsical tubers donuts crafted by husband and wife duo chef Becca Grothy and Cam Waron. And they're joining us now to show us how to make the mortadella melt. Hi! Hi! Hi. The mortadella melt. <laughs> yes. That's a very interesting name. What is it? So it's a mortadella sandwich, and then we melt fresh mozzarella on top. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like a fancy bologna sandwich. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it sounds I good. love it. I it sounds love really it. Take good. Take me back to my childhood. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell us, so while you're cooking, tell us about your background. I know you grew up, Becca, you were cooking with your dad in the kitchen getting his recipes. Yes. So I grew up and cooked a lot with my dad, which is where um, I sort of was inspired um, and decided I wanted to go to culinary school. Mm. So, you went to culinary up. school to make a bologna sandwich? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very expensive bologna sandwich. Yeah. 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 Very expensive yeah. really bologna, yeah. but that's yeah. not bologna. Though. No, it's mortadella. So what we're going to do first is melt some butter, and then you want your pan to be pretty high heat because you want to get a nice sear. Oh, good. <laughs> on the mortadella. Okay, um, you know what? I, I'm going to really embarrass myself here. I have never heard of mortadella. So no, it is you a... You no, I Okay, either. thank you. That's no, all right. We made it up. We're yeah. here to teach. We're here to teach. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is a... Uh, it's a sm uh, cured pork product. Mm. And then it is... Uh, inside is lardo, which is a cured pork fat mixed oh. in with the meat. So that's what the little white spots are in there. Oh. So it's really... It is kind of similar to bologna mm -hmm. in a fancy way. It's, um, you know, just... A little bit nicer. Okay. You like the sandwiches because I was reading that when you worked at the Park Hyatt, you created like your own version of a Cuban sandwich, right? Well, at the Park Hyatt, we had a version of the Cuban sandwich, which was my favorite one to eat every day. I like brought one home with me every single day. Mm -hmm. And um, so then when I moved to Sunday Dinner Club and started working with Josh and Christine of Honey Butter Fried Chicken, mm -hmm. oh, we yeah. did a. Uh, I sort of changed a few things and made. Um, made my version, you know, sort of inspired by that Cuban sandwich. And so is that what made you decide to go out on your own and start Tribeca's? Yes. Okay. Also, I love eating sandwiches. Okay. So Now, how's the collaboration between you two? You seem to be, you seem to get along really well. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We do. She, she knows, knows when to throw me out. Yeah. He knows yeah. his place, yeah. which is helpful. Yeah. You know? okay, we got so a couple you, kids to diffuse as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you make the sandwiches and you make the tubers, right, Cam? Yes, yeah. So, um, Tell us those about are, what the tuber is. Um, so they're potato-based uh, donuts. They're still flour. We use local flour, local potatoes, but you cook off potatoes and then fold them into the dough. Oh. And it just gets them like a little bit of a higher moisture. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. It more make cakey. it heavier? Yeah, yeah. 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 totally. Okay. Oh, and so you have different flavors every month? Correct, yeah. So right now, these are uh, day one of them. April um, 1st. Yeah. No joke. So, so here we are, yeah. Okay, it's, so uh, what, are, what are they? Kind of walk us through while sure. you make any sandwich here? Um, so the sugar coated one is going to be the cherry berry jam. Mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. second one there is the cinnamon nut. So it's kind of like a cinnamon bun donut. Um, so cinnamon glaze and a cream cheese frosting. Oh and then the last goodness. one is the crunch bar. Crunch bar? Um, yeah, so it's got these like little puffed rice um, with some chocolate ganache. Ooh, I want to get into this. Oh, are you doing it now? Yeah. Just well, in case, I mean, you know? It takes oh, a little okay. while for the sandwich Wait, to twist my done. arm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want you to eat a donut, a tuber donut alone. Yeah. All right, so while we're tasting this, you did something else. What did you do? Yeah, so I added the, I uh, piled up the meat, and then I added the mo the fresh mozzarella, and then I put a little bit of water and covered it, so it'll help the mozzarella melt, um, which is the melt part of the sandwich. Mm. And, and then, then do you add lettuce or different, you know, condiments yeah. on the top of yeah. it? Yeah, Cam's going to assemble. Um, okay. We're going to use a pesto mayo. And you have a toasted bun? Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. yeah. toast We're using uh, these Kaiser rolls, um, and we have it beautifully toasted. Pesto mayo on one side. We're going to do a little bit of yellow mustard on the other for a little bit of acid. It kind of cuts through the fattiness of the meat mm -hmm. and the creaminess of the uh, cheese. Which we add right back in when we yeah. eat one of these delicious <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, and then this is just shredded lettuce, uh, basic romaine we just shred up. And then we're also going to use some pickled prince, pickled banana peppers. Ooh. So we get them from the pickled prince who makes pickles for us. Uh, he also makes our pickles that we use on our cu Cubano sandwich. All right, so tell us what other type of sandwiches you have at Tribeca's. 
So we do have a lot of Midwest inspired sandwiches. I'm from Galesburg, Illinois, which is um, oh, yeah. in the west. middle of the state yeah. to the west a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so we have a horseshoe, which was originated in Springfield, Illinois. And that's like an open face sandwich with uh, burger patties. And then it's covered in French fries and cheese sauce. Um, it's that. incredible. Keep it light, you know? awesome. yeah. And you guys cater now too? Yes, so we, we just everything. started catering. Um, we also are now open for seven days. So That's Monday right. through Sunday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Breakfast is available um, until 2 p.m. And our whole uh, lunch menu is available all day. So yeah, you need a um, donuts in the morning yeah. and sandwiches for lunch. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Exactly. Exactly. This exactly. is awesome. Yeah, so now the cheese is all melty. We're just going to pile this oh, on. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put that right on there. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, oh, man, those are the best. That is delicious, guys. There you go. Oh, outstanding. <laughs> Becca and Cam, thank you much, so much for joining us. We want to tell everybody that you're over on Belmont. There's the website, social media handles. As you heard, they are now catering. They're open seven days a week for breakfast and lunch. you got to check them out. Try Becca's. Where did Try come from? I know where the Becca came from. Um, it's sort of like a play in New York and then Try Becca's Sandwich Shop. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I love it. Creativity. Oh, all right. Thank, thank you, so you much. both so much. Best of luck to you all.